Now, though it ran for only one season, 55 to 56, The Honeymooners remains one of the most pivotal, I think, sitcoms in TV history. Jackie Gleason played his most famous character, bus driver Ralph Cramden, who torments his long-suffering wife, Alice and Audrey Meadows, with get-rich schemes that never really succeed. Uh, the Cramdens live in a dingy apartment in the Bensonhurst section of Brooklyn in a TV show. Upstairs reside their best friends, a sewer worker by the name of Ed Norton, and his wife, Trixie, Joyce uh, Randolph. Gleason and the show's writers liberally salted the scripts with both fictional and real-life spots in Brooklyn and Manhattan. Many real addresses are mentioned. Their names give viewers a flavor of life in the 1950s New York City. But the show was, again, entirely filmed before an audience at a theater in Midtown Manhattan. All the exteriors were stage sets. And, you know, uh, d- d- again, so when they were filming... Uh, it was very little, it wasn't rehearsed all that much. It was very, because they wanted to keep it uh, sporadic. So where it all began was 328 Chauncey Street in Brooklyn. When he can see, when he, you know, when he came up with the idea of the Honeymooners, Jackie Gleason insisted that the Cramden apartment, which was like a two-bedroom apartment in the, in the series, that would be modeled after one of his boyhood homes in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn, 328 Chauncey Street, apartment 3A. The place was dull. The bulbs weren't very bright. The surroundings were very bare. Gleason said of the tenement apartment, Ralph Cramden's address is also 328 Chauncey Street, though he lives in the more what he thought would be Brooklyn-sounding uh, yeah, the Brooklyn-sounding neighborhood of uh, Bensonhurst. In actuality, this is how you're. We're outside of 328 Chauncey Street right now. It is Bed Stuy, Brooklyn. I'm sorry, not Bed Stuy. Um, Bushwick. This is Bushwick. I was thinking of Bed Stuy, but this is Bushwick, Brooklyn. This is the famous. Um, 328 Chauncey Street. This is how it looks like modern day right now. Uh, again, it's, you know, this section of Brooklyn has been through a remodeling, this area. Uh, it's up and coming. It was once considered, um, like, a really, you know, over the course of time, a poorer a poorer neighborhood, but, you know, times have changed. The neighborhood has revitalized. Uh, it, it's been cleaned up. Um, so, you know, an apartment like this, um, probably in the Bushwick section right now, it's rising, the real estate, I probably tell you. Um, close to 700 thousand maybe eight hundred thousand um you know uh, a good number a good number uh um it's a good number good, good decent penny you could collect uh, a good amount of rent in these apartments it's near everything convenience uh plays a part Ralph, one call. I spoke to Trixie. 
Trixie. Upstairs? <laughs> to call her on the phone to talk to her upstairs? <laughs> What's the matter? Yelling out third class is retiring to the poop deck until this big wind blows over. <laughs> All you're worried about is the money. Well, you can just stop worrying because I'll figure out some way to pay for that phone. I'll just, uh, well, I'll, I'll cut down on something. I know what you'll cut down on. My food. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, Mrs. Cramden, but I was hoping maybe you could help me. Oh, sure. What's the matter? Well, a friend of mine's babysitter disappointed them, and, and well, I was hoping you might know someone. Oh, gee, I'd love to help you out, but uh, I don't know anyone. See, uh, wait a minute. How much does a babysitter get? Fifty cents an hour, and these people only live three blocks from here. Mrs. Simpson, I'll do it. Oh, that's fine. What's your telephone number? Well, have you got a pencil in there? Uh, yes, yes, I have. And here. Bensonhurst. Mm-hmm. Bensonhurst. Ben Bensonhurst. Zero. Zero. Seven, seven. Four, one. Four, one. And by the way, before I forget, since I don't want Ralph to know about this, could you ask your friends to call me before six? Because that's when... Now, these people that you're sitting for tonight are the Barfells. Uh-huh. And they live at 383 Himrod Street, apartment 4D. 383. I'll remember that, and I can be there in about 15 minutes. Oh, that'll be fine, Mrs. Cramden. How can I ever thank you? Oh, Mrs. Simpson, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> well, goodbye. And here is the aforementioned... 383 Himrod Street in Brooklyn. So when Ralph objects to the cost of the telephone that Alice has installed, Alice decides that she'll pay for it herself, right? Easy. Her idea? Babysitting behind Ralph's back. 50 cents an hour they pay. Not bad. Those days. Her idea, right, works out. A neighbor suggests um, the babysitting job because it's only three blocks away from Chauncey Street. The Barfield's home at 383 Himrod Street is actually two miles away from the Cramdens. So, as you can see from the prior clip, here we are now at 465 Van Buren Street. So, because Alice did so well that Mr. Barfield recommends her to his pal Harvey Wolstetter, who lives at 465 Van Buren Street. Ralph inadvertently overhears part of the men's conversation at the barber shop and believes Alice is cheating on her. That evening, the Wolstetters leave Alice with Harvey Jr. asleep in the bedroom. Soon, jealous Ralph, in his full raccoon regalia, storms in and demands that Harvey come out of the bedroom. Ralph is shocked when it's Harvey Jr. who emerges. The kid is equally surprised. Spying Ralph's fur hat, he says, gee, I never knew that Davy Crockett was so fat so now this is again 465 van buren 
So look at Alice just killing it uh, with, with the jobs. One babysitting job leads to another babysitting job, all to pay for a phone. And this is the scene that pertains to Van Buren. So this was the Bushwick Hospital structure is still the same. No longer the case, though. It's now a juvenile detention center. But in the episode here, there's an emergency at Bushwick when Norton is injured in a sewer explosion on Himrod Street, which is right where this is located, right near uh, the hospital. He's taken to Bushwick Hospital, a real infirmary infirmary located at that point in 1955 at Howard and Putnam Avenues, which is literally right a hip and a skip and a jump away from Himrod Street. Remember, that's where um, Alice was babysitting on Himrod Street. So Ralph rushes to Bushwick to give Norton a blood transfusion only to find out uh, that his pal has already been released. No longer a hospital. Again, the building today is a juvenile detention center. But this is that building. As you're going to see the scenes and the uh, picture of the building before and now. <laughs> 